Wonderful aloha. Thank you for joining me today. It's a lovely day again in downtown Waikiki where the swell is high and we're having a great time. Went out surfing this morning, killer waves. I thought I'd uh, show you guys how to do a simple, simple, simple syrup made with lemons. A lot of people like to refer to it as, as lemon cello. Um, Non-alcoholic or alcoholic, um, you can do one of the two. What we're going to need um, is we're going to need lemons, washed, dried, padded. Um, we don't want to spend too much time rolling them because we're going to, even though we're going to juice the inside, we really want all that oil to stay in the skin for right now. Um, we're going to need a juicer, we're going to need a peeler. We are going to need a double strainer or some sort of a little nice little strainer. Um, I like using, personally, I like using these. These are two cup um, uh, or uh, 400 milliliter uh, mason jars. The reason I like doing that is because they have a top on them. Um, and then when we're sealing this, it's really nice to be able to keep that bacteria out. Um, sometimes plastic doesn't quite do that the way we want it to. Plus they're washable, you can reuse them again. I love that fact. Um, and then we're gonna do filtered water. I like using alkaline water myself. Um, I specifically buy these anytime I do simple syrups. Um, and I have Hawaiian made uh, sugar. Um, it's a fresh cane sugar. Notice that it's not bleached. Um, it's basically been sun dried. It's still brown and has a, a nice texture to it. Um, this is done in Kapolei. Um, they also have a golden brown and, and a regular um, uh, unfiltered uh, cane sugar. I like using this one right here specifically because of the color that it's going to give off. It's going to be still really nice and golden when we do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off really simply. We're taking our little um, peeler and we want to get all these little spots off that we're not going to be using. And we're just going to go from the very top all the way down. All the way down. Try to get as much of that as we can. Nice and thin. You can see that. I don't have much of the white. The white is the pith that is bitter, so we don't want a lot of that bitterness in our limoncello. We're going to set it right there into the jar. And now we're back again. We have uh, filled our jar with uh, uh, our lemon twists. Now this is really integral because uh, you want to keep this just like this and you want to keep these for later because we are going to juice these. So this recipe is quite simple. Um, you want to do uh, five lemons, 200 milliliters. Um, I know it's, a, it's in here, but it's technically, um, you want to do at least 238, so one cup of sugar. We're going to do sugar directly into this lemon. And I'm going to show you how to do that really nice and simply. Nice and pour. We're going to go up to around our one cup mark. About there. Now, you know from chemistry that sugar is a crystal. Crystals like to do what? They like to absorb. Oil from the lemon needs to be absorbed. So what we're doing is we're facilitating absorption from the lemon oil in the skin of the lemon to the sugar. We want to do that just like that. Perfect. Let this sit in a warm, dry, non-sunny place for about 48 hours. Don't touch it, don't look at it. You can go in and shake it if you want. Uh, but what you're gonna see is you're gonna start seeing um, over the course of about the next five or six hours um, that you're gonna have liquid forming in the bottom. That's very important. Um, after about two days, and what I mean warm is, you know, you're not gonna put it out in the sun. So I want you to put it somewhere in the cupboard just above the, the, uh, the stove, the oven. Um, it needs to be somewhere where the temperature range is around 90, 85 to 90 degrees consistently. Um, what we're doing is we're slowly kind of um, warm sous vide the uh, sugar to cause absorption um, so that it will 
uh, absorb all of the lemon oil that we have in here. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to juice all of these right now and we're going to put it in a separate container for later. That's going to be added to here, but we also want to make sure that we do um, one thing. We want to strain off all the pulp, all the seeds and everything. We want a really nice consistent uh, strain. So what I like to use is a, is a larger strainer and then a much smaller strainer. So that way I can really get those fine particulates out of that. Um, we're going to end up adding that directly to here. Um, and then if you have and you want to make an alcoholic version of this, get yourself about a 100 proof uh, vodka. I recommend something similar to um, like New Amsterdam as a really nice uh, 100 proof, really good neutral grain spirit. Um, I like using that one for some of my stuff, including the bitters. So if you want to turn this into an alcoholic limoncello and you want to cook it for a little bit longer, I'll show you how to do that in another episode. Currently, we're just making a simple syrup. So what we're going to end up doing is in two days, when this is all done, we're going to add that very lovely filtered lemon juice to this, and then we're going to let it sit for one more day. Now in the amount of time that it took us to juice five lemons to get this much juice, so that is uh, roughly about six, six and a half ounces, it's pretty good for five lemons. Um, in the amount of time that it's taken us out here in the 83 degree sun, you can see the liquid already forming on the bottom here. That is orange, oh, I'm sorry, lemon oil that is being extracted by the sugar. So you can see it a little bit more clear right there. See all that, that lemon juice that's right there? So we're gonna let this sit for two full days, shake it occasionally. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator. We're gonna filter it one more time, but that's actually pretty darn clear. Uh, but we are gonna run it through one more fine strainer uh, before we add it to here. Now the last step to this is really nice and simple. Two days from now, this is going to be liquid, so what you want to do is you want to pull out all those, um, those lemon uh, sugary pieces, right? And you're going to put them in a small bowl and put a little bit of filtered water in that. Now you're going to get all the sugar and all the oil and everything else, else off of it. Make sure that the water is at room temperature. That's really, really important for this to happen. When all of that is said and done, all that sugar that's in there, you're going to add this to the filtered water and the rest of the sugar that's in these two jars. Uh, filtered water, about a half a cup, um, because that's gonna add to that uh, the oil, the water, um, the lemon juice, it's all gonna mix, mix together. And then you wanna shake it really nice, filter it one more time when it's all said and done. That's a non-alcoholic lemon sherbet. You can freeze it, eat it, very, very tasty that way. I like to use mine in cocktails. Uh, it's considered a non-alcoholic limoncello because we've allowed this to ferment, or not ferment, but to, you know, uh, extract for about two full days. Um, if you wanted to make a true limoncello, then you could put um, per four ounces of this mixture, you could put one ounce of 100 proof neutral grain spirit, such as New Amsterdam. I like using that one. Um, and letting it sit for in about another two days at 83 degrees, and that's it. No bacterial grow, um, it's very tasty, um, and you can add it just, just about anything. Uh, make sure that once it's all done, um, if it's not quite as shell stable as you like it, uh, make sure it goes in the freezer. Uh, with that 100 proof for every four ounces, I guarantee you, uh, you're definitely gonna have it uh, on the shelf for a little while. So uh, I hope this has helped you. Uh, enjoy the rest of your time. Thank you very much for joining us.